What's up? It's your boy, Evan Hollywood. And we're back on IE Network. And this is the Evan Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's ICYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the World Wide Web. Before we get started, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to start it off with a little alarming news, and that is Bronny James. Uh, and that is LeBron James' son. He suffered a cardiac arrest. Um, Bronny James suffered cardiac arrest um, during his USC workout. All right, um... Now, of course, everybody is, soon as they see it happen, they run into the, oh, uh, big pharma, you know, vaccine, genocide, you know, everybody's running to that. But um, let me just get to the story. And it says here, I'm reading it from the Daily Mail. Says Bronny James, LeBron's son, collapsed and suffers a cardiac arrest during practice USC's Gallon Center and is rushed to hospital. Bronny James, 18, was rushed by ambulance from USC Gallon Center Monday. He is now in stable conditions, no longer in ICU. Um, LeBron James' son, Bronny, has suffered a cardiac arrest during a basketball workout. Uh, man, I got chills reading that. According to a report. The son of the Lakers superstar was rushed to the hospital after the incident happened during a USC workout. The 18-year-old is said to now be in stable condition and is no longer in ICU. Bronny, who recently committed to the Trojans, was taken by ambulance from USC Gallon Center, the venue where the school's basketball teams play and practice after a 911 call reportedly was made at 9.26 a.m. The incident is believed to have been a code three, which signifies the seriousness of the call as it requires ambulance, lights, and sirens. So, oh man. So we're glad that Bronny James is in stable condition. And I'm uh, uh, figuring up, uh, finishing up. Yesterday while practicing, Bronny James suffered a cardiac arrest, a spokesman said. Medical staff was able to treat Bronny and take him to the hospital. He is now in stable condition. We ask for respect and privacy for the James family. We'll update media when there is more information. Um, of course, LeBron and Savannah wish to publicly send deepest thanks. Let me tell you something, man. Something like this happens to my kid. That's it. That's it. Basketball is out. I'm retiring. You know, I've had a great career. My only reason for hanging around was to try to play with my son. But after this situation, I'm sorry, dude. You're going to have to take a year off and to monitor. And then if we'll see after that, you know, what happens. But something of this seriousness. I mean, I know a uh, something happened like that to Shaq's son, I believe. I believe Shaq's son had something very similar happen to him. And then... But he's playing again. But he was never the same after that. And Bronny James won't be either. Um, this is the second time that USC medical staff have responded to a basketball player with cardiac arrest during practice. Center Vince Iwichukwu collapsed at a practice last summer and was revived by USC athletic trainers. He made a full recovery and returned to the basketball court six months later. So, we'll see, man. I'm sorry. I couldn't take it. I couldn't take the chance. I couldn't take the chance, but we'll find out what's going to happen. Prayers up for LeBron James Jr. And um, prayers to the James family as well. Moving on to Azalea Banks and probably the strangest post that I've seen in a while. But coming from Azalea Banks... I mean, hey, it, it, how strange can it be coming from Azalea Banks? So there's a post going around. That Azalea Banks, I don't know whether she's complimenting Nicki Minaj. She's kind of complimenting her. But then after that, 
I mean, I don't know what I don't know what she's doing. So Azalea Banks had put out a post, and I'm going to read it, and you know, in its entirety, so we can you know read it in context. Now, first she spoke on her collaboration with Ice Spice. She says, "I really wish she went she went full Euro trash for the Aqua Girl track. We love Ice Spice, but this should have been the return of the Queen." of effing bubblegum pop. Charlie XCW thinks she's eating it, but she's just too boring and brunette to actually pull it off. This really was Nikki's moment, but sis really doesn't understand that she's going to have to continuously be forced to acknowledge new rap girls and be used as a marketing pawn until she separates a fully from any and all association relations with a S.O. like she's going to spend the rest of her career doing lame collabs and having trash beef because of the S.O.S. for someone seemingly so smart you think this would be obvious. Uh, Nikki, please stop doing these trash collabs. Ice Spice High Key hates you in your own space. The original of Princess Diana is better too. Desperation and defeat is not a good look on you. Please realize that the game being played against you is bigger than whatever flavor of the moment girl hits the scene. Please stop trying to out hood rat these new girls and get back to boxing these white pop stars out in the name of LaGuardia. So I guess that means in the name of Queens because LaGuardia is in Queens. So I'm just going to assume that's what she meant. So that seems as though like she is for Nicki Minaj, right? So let's move on. Then she was speaking about her theory on Nicki Minaj. Theory is that Nicki Minaj for a very long time has had like complete market share of the female rap. And for a very long time, these other music industry execs have been trying to push their female rap products through. You know, you saw Iggy Azalea and you saw like all these other girls. And Nicki Minaj was just not letting these other corporate white guys get a piece of her fucking pie. So they made Cardi B and launched her. It's not a theory, it's a truth. They made her and launched her on Nicki. And that's just just because of this greater, like, greater white male, like, corporate part to the fucking music industry that's just not going to let, they're just not going to let a black girl have any sort of, like, power. You know, Nikki had too much, like, like, the power, the female rap power was too centralized in one spot. They had to launch something on her to break that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Yo. That's what they did. My so... She basically saying, um, I believe, what was her name? Something, Ashley Wu or something or something like that, had made this comment maybe like going back two years ago, Jessica Wu, Jesse Wu, I think her name is, about how Atlantic and the music industry came up with Cardi B to try to end Nicki Minaj. Remember, Jesse Wu made that comment. This is kind of like what Azalea Banks is saying. But the thing is about Azalea Banks, and then I saw all, all of... Um, you know, the Bob saying, oh, yeah, Azalea, she loves Nicki Minaj. You know, this, that, and the other. But Azalea Banks will say this about Nicki Minaj and then turn around and say something else. You know what I mean? So that's the whole thing. You really can't trust her because then she comes back with this. Still so upset. Whip It was never a single. Uh, Nicki ate that Romanian Euro trash pop slushy right the f on up it's such a great song that and check it out are so damn epic check it out is so good so everyone's like yeah azalea is it's for nikki but then here she comes back every day i think deeply at every mf in the world who had the nerve to tell nikki she couldn't also make millions of dollars singing shitty pop songs like her white female counterparts do without thinking twice. All that ghetto, self-hating backlash she received for starships had to be orchestrated by all of the white pop stars that were on the bench during Nikki's dominance. Like, I don't think you know how angry these pop girls were that there was a black woman in their space. 
and damn Harvey putting her song in the pop category was a power move. Harvey been in this music industry for decades. He's seen black female artists cry for being shoved in the urban categories despite having the most popular records of the year. He was really wholeheartedly trying to restore order because Nicki Minaj is a pop music beast. I really wish she went full Euro trash. Okay, so I already read that um, for what she said. And then she said, uh, oh, yeah, so please realize the game being played against you. So then that was the end of that. So this looks as though, hey, Azalea Banks is really for Nicki Minaj. So let me know if you think Azalea Banks is for Nicki Minaj. I'm going to come back with part two and let you know what she said coming back after everyone saying, yeah, you're giving Nicki great advice. We're going to go over what Azalea Banks said coming up in part two. So it's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.